Hi there, and welcome to the Kubernetes Fundamentals course. In this course, I'm going to take you from an absolute beginner to deploying your first applications on your own Kubernetes cluster, and I'm super excited to start teaching you today. Uh, I'm going to teach you Kubernetes in a practical way. We are going to be covering theory, but as we are going along, I'm going to be explaining things as we are applying them to our own cluster. Because I know from experience that learning is much more fun and therefore much more efficient if we apply it right away. I find that when I'm just sitting there consuming video courses for a few hours, the information doesn't really stick anymore. We're going to be doing practical tasks already from module one. And when we encounter a problem, I'm going to show you how to look up the information that is needed to solve the problem. And this is much more powerful than just showing you how to do things or just showing you how to write the YAML files, which is frankly what most courses do. But the reality of being a Kubernetes engineer is that you are going to encounter problems every day that you don't have an answer to and nobody does. The reality is that even after several years of production experience with Kubernetes, you still encounter weird quirks every day which require the skill of problem solving. No Kubernetes engineer in the world is able to solve everything without looking up information on the internet. And this is the aim of my course, to start building up the skills you need to solve problems on Kubernetes clusters in production. I want to teach you how to identify the problems, where to look for them and where you can find the information while we're going to have fun along the way. So I'm setting this up as if we are in the same room together with two laptops and we are going to start a fresh Kubernetes cluster on our laptops and we're going to deploy some applications and a monitoring stack to it. While I'm going to uh, explain all of the elements and all of the theory and everything that's needed along the way. So technically you are going, you could watch these videos without following along, without doing the practical application, but I highly suggest you do so because I promise you, you will learn much, much faster and efficient, more efficient when we are doing it together and when you can see the results happening on your own machine in real life. So just to show you quickly what, uh, what you're going to be able to do or what, what you're going to have at the end of this course. Uh, we are going to have uh, an application running on our course, which is on our cluster, which is called Mealy. This is a, a recipe manager and uh, a meal planner. So here you have this uh, delicious cheese pizza here, and it is all um, available in the browser. And if we want to add a recipe, we can add it very easily. But that's one application that we're going to have. But we are also going to learn how to work with our Kubernetes cluster. So I teach a command line based workflow. So we are going to be able to open up K9S and then we're going to see our entire cluster and I'm going to teach you how to navigate everything and how to look for things. So let's open up the application here and have the logs and then I'm going to put that beside the application here as I'm going to um, import a new recipe for example. So here I have some delicious black bean burritos and I'm going to go to Mealy and I'm going to create a new one and all you have to do is just enter the URL and create and it's going to scrape the recipe and as you see on the right hand side here even though my big head is covering it you, you saw that the logs were streaming right? Things were happening. So now we have this uh, recipe in our in our application. And if I click around, we can see that the logs are streaming and things are happening. And um, we are going to be seeing in real time what is going to happen with the application. Secondly, we are going to make sure that we know what's happening on the cluster. So by the end of the, uh, the course, you're going to have this application running and you're going to have a full monitoring stack running. So you're going to be able to look at all these cool graphs of your Kubernetes cluster. You're going to see the when when 
a lot of things are um, taking more resources or more CPU. You can check out all of the metrics and you can check out your uh, application. So if I look for my Melee application, we are going to be able to see um, what the application itself is doing. And I'm going to teach you how to set all of this up from scratch uh, using, for the monitoring stack, we're going to be using a Helm chart. And for the Melee application, we are going to build our uh, manifest from scratch. So I think like when I started out, I wish I had this kind of course because I was getting bored really quickly with all of the theory and just all of these videos telling you what to do. I'm actually going to show you how to do it and how to learn as we are building up something together. So if that sounds like fun to you, let's get going with the course.